Okay, well here we are on the old workbench and um, what you're looking at is the underside of a stripped down IBM T30 ThinkPad. And the, um, the object of this little video is to show you, show you how we go about um, clearing um, or recovering uh, ThinkPad supervisor passwords. Um, a lot of people don't believe you can do this, but yes, you actually can do this and it's not too difficult if you've got the right tools for the job. The tricky part of it is you have to locate the EE prom, which is where the ThinkPad stores the encrypted password. Unfortunately, on the T30, the EE prom, electrical, electrically erasable programmable read only memory uh, chip, is a 24 RF08 and it's just underneath one of the memory modules. So that is quite easy to get to. And uh, here it is. Um, I've already sold the two leads to it. That's the tricky bit because it's a very small surface mount chip and obviously um, it, the, the contacts are very, very small. But you need to solder two leads on to uh, SDA and SCL, which is, I think, uh, pins five and six on this particular chip. Now, the bit of kit we're going to use to do this is, is this. Now, this is a KMX LCD module on um, uh, Joe of Australia's uh, very nifty uh, password removal uh, tool. Uh, I'll put a link to his website uh, in the description below. Um, this is powered off the USB port of the actual laptop you're going to use it on. So that provides a ground, which is why we've only got two wires soldered onto the chip. And then the lead will plug into this part here, uh, which connects to this. Right, so the first thing to do then is turn the power onto the laptop, which will provide power to Joe's little device. Um, and we need to get the ThinkPad to go to the prompt where it shows the supervised password symbol, which we do by pressing F1. There we go. I have to wait for a little bit. Joe's uh, little key maker is powered up, but at the moment we haven't got it connected to the ThinkPad other than through the USB lead. So we have to wait a little while because there's no hard drive connected to it. And uh, it does tend to um, take its time when there's no hard, hard drive connected. Right, so there we go. This is what we've been aiming to get. I'll just zoom in. There is the dreaded power on or supervisor password indication. Now, there's a little joystick to the right of the display, and this allows you to scroll through the menus, various different ones that there are available. Okay. Now, the EEPROM in the T30 is in fact 24RF08. So we select that by tapping this, right? So uh, that says supervisor password recovery. So we'll go yes. Recover supervisor password, yes. Delay 10 seconds, nine, it's counting down. And hopefully, The password is orange. Well, okay. Let's see if it is. Let's come up and look at the screen. I've typed in orange, so let's see what it does. Look at that, job done. Now, obviously that password is still set, so I will now go into, um, I will now go into the setup and clear the supervised password. You can do that using Joe's bit of kit. You don't need to um, do what I'm going to do. As I said, this, 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 the, the little device will also, um, it will also clear it for you, but I can, you can do it quite easily once you're into the bias. 
And that's it, job done. Um, obviously I've got to come out of that and save it uh, with no supervisor password. And um, then I can shut it all down and disconnect Joe's device. But there you go, that's exactly how it works. And it's as simple as that. Anyway, I thought you guys would be interested in uh, seeing this. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.